I never use these chalkboard tags in a DIY? Well, today I do. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, well, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? We've all seen these chalkboard tags at Dollar Tree. Today I am bringing to you a DIY using these and this is a DIY that you are going to be able to get some use out of for years and years and years. This DIY hands down has made my top favorite DIYs of all time because of the outcome. I can't wait to show you what I do with these chalkboard tags that you can get from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. A useful DIY. My goodness, have I told you? I love this DIY. Okay, let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, getting started. I'll be using one of these larger raw wood plaques by Crafter Square that you can get from none other than the Dollar Tree. This one measures out at 18 inches long by four and a half inches wide. We don't need these pesky holes. So I am gonna take some spackling that I did not get from Dollar Tree. I got it at Walmart because I have not been able to get my hands on any spackling at Dollar Tree in some time. This spackling is cool though because it goes on pink when it dries, it turns white. Just by taking a damp paper towel, you can wipe off the excess spackling while it's wet. This plaque is gonna get a nice coating with some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ink. In the floral department, you're gonna find this burlap ribbon that comes in a set of three. You're getting a yard of each. I love this burlap ribbon because it is a bit different than the ribbon that you get on the spool because it doesn't have the cream twine intertwined into it. It's just the burlap itself. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the outside edges of this now black plaque, lining it with this burlap ribbon, giving it a nice finished look. To this plaque, I am going to add a vinyl decal that I cut out with my Cricut that says, watch me grow. Now, don't go anywhere yet. This DIY is not done. You know I'm not gonna slap some paint on a plaque, put some ribbon on it, put some vinyl on it, and call it a day. Oh no, no. There is way more to this DIY, and I guarantee you this is one you are absolutely gonna love. This is a piece that I'm keeping in my house and using. That's how much I love the outcome of this piece. Stickers are a great budget-friendly alternative to using vinyl decals that are made with the Cricut. You can find letter stickers like this pack at Hobby Lobby for about $5. Or you can head on over to Linda's store where she is making this vinyl decal set available to you for instant digital download. Or she will cut and send them to you with free shipping. These are available in black or white vinyl. Talk about a spoiler alert. You now know where I am going with this DIY. Anyway, you can find the link to Linda's Etsy store. Guess where? Yes, in the description box below. Don't leave Dollar Tree without three of these galvanized corrugated plaques. These plaques are gonna be glued together and I'm gonna do that using some of this Gorilla Glue. This is a clear glue. I don't have any E6000. This glue is amazing. You can get it at Walmart. My Walmart's been out of E6000 lately. They've been out of a lot of things like spray paint. The list goes on and on. Gorilla Glue is a great alternative. So on one side, right there on the edge, I'm gonna go ahead and place some of that clear 
Gorilla Glue. Now you wanna make sure you get the clear because there is different colored glues and it dries the color that it is. On another plaque, I'm also gonna place some glue on this side. Now, I'm not gonna try and explain the sides, but you see that I'm basically putting it on opposite sides because I'm gonna place one of the galvanized sheets on top of both. So you've got two underneath the top one. You see where I'm going here. You need to put it together that way and you wanna make sure that your holes for the plaques, I guess, are all on the same side. Mine are all on the bottom and they will be covered up in this DIY. Going back to our Watch Me Grow plaque, I'm gonna hit this with a ton of hot glue and I am going to place this right in the center of our galvanized plaques that we glue together. Yeah, our galvanized pieces that we glued, you see, I'm, I'm gonna put it right in the center. So those galvanized pieces are actually framing out what is our sign, but we are still not done yet. Oh no, no, because you saw that there are numbers. So what are we gonna do with those numbers? Oh, just wait, this is so stinking cute. For those numbers, I will be using these chalkboard tags. They come in square and this decorative one. I decided to go the decorative route. You're gonna need four packs of these because we need 13 of them in total. So that equals four packs, not three packs, because three packs is 12, haha. <laughs> so to these, what am I gonna do? On the back side, they've got a clothespin that is fairly well glued onto the back of it. I really tried to salvage my clothespins. Some of them were salvageable, some not so much. Using some wire cutters I found was the easiest way to remove it from the back because we don't need them glued where they're at. No, no, we're gonna re-glue them somewhere else, but we don't need this size for these tags. I know I'm totally making it confusing, aren't I? Here is an example of one of the clothespins that did not make it, yeah. And yep, I'm sure you probably guessed it, but each of these tags is going to get a number. And so we are, or letter in this case, right? K through 12 is what each of these tags are going to be labeled with. So much fun this DIY is. I can't wait for you to see the end result. But before that, I'm gonna use some of the mini clothespins on the back of this, because like I said earlier, those bigger ones are much too big. So to the clothespin itself, on half of it, I'm gonna place some hot glue and I'm gonna place the clothespin just like so. You can see that I didn't glue the whole pin and I lined it up with that center point there. That is an easy focal point so you know that you're gonna get all your clothespins nice and even and in the right place. And I'm gonna do that to all 13 of my tags. Well, I'm gonna glue them to the bottom of my plaques, the galvanized plaques, the bottom where the holes are, and these tags are gonna cover up those holes. I'm starting with the number six tag because there are 13 tags, so six would be in the middle. It is easiest if you start in the middle and then you can get proper spacing all the way to the outside, and that way you're guaranteed to fit all 12 of your tags on with the same spacing. It really is easy, so you don't have to measure. It cuts down on time. We are so not done with this DIY yet. There's some fine tuning that needs to be done, and I will be doing that using some of these new raw wood beads that you can get at Dollar Tree. They come in square or round, you choose. And those beads, they're gonna go right here up at the top to use as a hanger. To apply these, I'm just gonna use some hot glue. I'm using a hot glue by Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue has glue sticks that are amazing that I've seen great results with. I'm using a hot temperature glue gun, not a low temperature. And so I find that the higher temperature glue guns do hold a bit better. And you will see on the back, I don't know if I pointed this out, but I did hit the back of these plaques with a bit of hot glue just to reinforce them along with the Gorilla Glue that I used. I felt like the front of this plaque was missing a little something. I wanted to add just a touch of color. The color I like to add to my rustic farmhouse DIYs is this sage green. This is a floral, I guess, pick or stick that you can get at Walmart. It is called lamb ears. You can get a smaller, 
I guess, bunch for a dollar, or you can get the bigger bunch for $188. Dollar Tree now has these wood curl roses that come in a four pack. Are these not amazing? Yes, I was looking for an excuse to use these. These are going to be perfect with this DIY. It's gonna blend in with the wood on the tags, with the burlap ribbon, with the wood beads. Oh my word, I love how this came together. Let's go take a look at this. Oh my word, I love this piece. How fun is it? Now this piece was inspired by this frame that I have of my son Ray. It was something that I loved. I didn't have one for Allison. And so this is what I've come up with for Allie. I think it is a super fun piece. I think that Allie too will love this piece as much as Ray and Kayla love theirs because they really like to go back and see all the changes over the years. I found these galvanized pieces a few weeks ago at Dollar Tree. I was just looking for an excuse to use them because I love the decorative top on them. It's not a must. They come with the twine equipped on the back. Love this. Why don't they just add twine to everything like this instead of putting holes in it? Seriously, I love this way of doing it so I don't have those pesky holes that I gotta worry about covering up or filling in. To these, they are gonna get some of that Gorilla Glue because I am going to glue them together in turn making them longer because why? Because I'm gonna add one of these plaques. This is a smaller plaque. This plaque measures out at a whopping, had to stop the voiceover and measure, a whopping 12 inches long by three inches wide. So this is the smaller of the two, a bit bigger than the planks that you get in the six pack. Is it worth $1.25 at Dollar Tree? I don't know. Sometimes I think it might be just for the convenience of it creature of habit and because this is a set it's going on the same wall I'm gonna finish these edges off with that same burlap ribbon that I used in the first DIY we're gonna keep this one simple this is us or this is me these vinyl decals are available also in Linda's Etsy store for instant digital download or for her to cut and send them to you with free shipping I'm going the this is us route because I have multiple kids so that's what I'm gonna do this may seem repetitive and that's because it is. I just wanted to give you a different option to that DIY that I brought you before this one because maybe somebody likes the idea of it but they don't have a little one in school. So here is an alternative for those who maybe have grown kids. Yes, so I'm gonna glue this sign to the center of those decorative galvanized plaques. Uh, plaques. That's what I'm going to call them. They are plaques, right? And to the back on the bottom, I'm going to add a string of twine to hang our pictures from. Wanted to do something a bit different than using the tags. If we want to use the tags, I say use the tags. But I thought this would be a fun way to utilize those clothespins that we salvaged from the back of those tags. For the hanger, I wanted to go the route of beads, but I didn't want to use the 22 inch strand of beads that Dollar Tree has. So I figured I would use these nautical beads that I had that never made it onto my tear tray because my dogs had their way with it and chewed up the starfish. Yep, so this piece never made it onto my tray, but I figured, heck, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna cut those starfish off and make a smaller strand of beads. And so, yeah, that's what I'm using for this one. For those of you whose Dollar Trees are not carrying those other beads, look for these beads. They are available right now at Dollar Tree. Most Dollar Trees have them, and you can always, like I just did, cut the embellishments off of them. And these beads are gonna go right here, just like this. And look at here. This is the part where we reuse those clothespins that I salvaged off the back of the tags because I'm a creature of habit and this is a set that is going up, did I say, on the same wall. I'm gonna go ahead and use those lamb ears again just to add a small embellishment up in the corner there along with my new favorite thing from Dollar Tree, those wood roses. Oh my goodness, those are everything. I think I might be a little obsessed with them. No, I know I am. 
how quick and easy was this DIY and look at the outcome. I love this. I am definitely going to be making more of these. I feel like I'm going to have a gallery wall that looks kind of like this. Who is today's KB Creations crafter of the day? It's going out to Ashley Thomas, who's bringing to us her recreation of my giant farmhouse sign piece that I have up in my kitchen. Ashley, I am absolutely loving, loving, loving your spin and your twist on this piece. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. Come on, all the way up, all the way up. Oh, good boy, good boy. Okay, now. <laughs> Okay, now you gotta turn. Oh, oh no, 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 you're stuck. I'm gonna make you stay. I'm gonna make you. Hi, everybody. It's a visa. Winnie is laying on the cool tile because it's so hot. Huh. Yep, it's the weekend, so Beza is visiting us. Huh. This is Winnie sitting outside. Okay, sleeping. Laying outside my craft room on the cool tile because it is a whopping 105 out here in California where I live. Absolutely miserable right now. And so the tile stays cool and it seems to be her favorite place to like, oh, hi Biza. Hi. Yeah, he is a whole 68 pounds and Winnie is only 43. There is quite a size difference between these two. In the beginning when I said that this DIY made my top 10 favorite DIYs of all time, I was not kidding. I absolutely love the outcome of this. I think I like it even better than the ones that I used for Ray and Kayla. Allie definitely loves this piece and I think she's going to enjoy it just as much as Ray and Kayla do. I hope you all enjoyed today's two Dollar Tree DIYs, wall decor DIYs. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, and bye for now, everybody.